Oprah Friday show from one gorgeous man to another. It's wine tasting with lovely Tom Canavan. Hello, Tom. Hi, Michelle. How are you? Oh, I'm wonderful, Tom. It's always lovely to see you on a Friday. Thank and of course, lovely Julian has we've had to twist his arm to come in to do the wine well, tasting. It's a chore, I'm, wasn't it? Yeah, not a big fan of booze in general. Michelle. Really? Uh -huh. Sorry, Julian. We'll do our best okay. to, to, to give you something nice. Good. Okay, what are we? He's obviously joking. It's Tom. boxes. It's a bit unusual for this week, Tom. I'm not it saying. is. Yeah, we. it's the first time we've ever featured wine boxes. Mm. And you know, it's an interesting kind of category because historically the wine box was not very good. You know, it was it was meant to be cheap wine to mm. save people some money by buying in bulk, and it was filled with wine that was kind of you know lower average quality, quality. grapes. Sort of. But things are changing a wee bit, and there's two real reasons for that. One is that the quality of the boxes is now actually really good, and what I mean by that is there's a kind of bag inside that box which is airtight, and so it mm. keeps the wine really fresh. And you can pour wine from this box, and it will stay fresh for four to six weeks. Well, that's well, longer than if you've got a bottle of wine you recall. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Fridge. I mean, so with that, it's a couple of days. Yeah. So this year, you're talking about four to six weeks. So for people who maybe only like a glass or two a night, but you know, nice they can just box. keep it in the fridge or keep it there, and they can just keep on helping themselves to a glass at a time. Oh, right. Let's the other big thing is, is oh, about sorry. ecology. You know, I know, you know, these these boxes are really, really kind of eco-friendly. Ah, you yes. know, the carbon footprint for this is. Minimal, it, it's minimal. You know, a box like this one here, which contains the equivalent of four bottles of wine, Lovely. weighs about half as much, packs into half as much mm -hmm. space. And they reckon that by the time you've shipped this wine from France or wherever to your table, you've cut the carbon emissions by a hundred, by sorry, by fifty percent. Right. Wow. You know, so you know, it's, it's, it's eco-friendly eco -friendly and green too. So it's doing its bit for Maybe the environment. Maybe don't feel so bad about drinking it then, let's Tom. Let's get trying it. It must taste good too, of course. So yes. we're going to start with uh, a white wine. And this is actually brand new. It only arrived in Sainsbury's this week. It's the Hardy's Nottage Hill. Mm -hmm. Now, if we um, have a wee taste of this wine, first of all, and I think you'll find that it's a really nice, fresh style of white wine. It's There's quite a wee, wee bit of oak there, mm. which just gives you that nice, kind of creamy oh. touch, but lovely, appley, lemony fruit. Uh, as you say, Julian, a um, bit of melon in there too, I think. Lovely. Nice and really fresh. nice wine. And a surprise coming out of a box, because I associate boxes of wine with going to tea in the park and then using the empty thing as a pillow when you're done. <laughs> <laughs> this, this, this show is full of handy hints, isn't it? Um, well, it, it's a serious wine that's sold in bottles too. This one is seventeen, uh, sorry, £19.99 in Sainsbury's, but it's the equivalent of three bottles. Which means you're paying about six pounds sixty per bottle, which is about the same price as buying it by the bottle. Okay. Uh, the other interesting thing about it is, is the package. I don't mm. know if the camera's picking it up just now, but the package is designed to lie flat in the fridge, which means <laughs> you can just keep it in the That's fridge handy. and pour yourself a glass straight yes, from the especially fridge. Especially if you find yourself trapped at the fridge a little later on in the morning <laughs> and you can't move, you're just there in the same spot. So <laughs> have you recently? No, nah, I wouldn't like to comment, Julie. <laughs> comment, <laughs> okay, what's up next, Tom? Second one up, we're going to Aldi, and Aldi have supplied okay. a really nice. Easy drinking, nothing special about it, but a good, solid, easy drinking wine in a four, uh, sorry, a three litre box, equivalent to four bottles, mm -hmm. for just £12.99. So this is coming in at only £3.33 a bottle equivalent. Okay, that's a and if you have a little taste of this one, it needs to breathe a little bit, I think. But well, you might be right. It's got that kind of cherry only edge to it. No. Well, listen, you're saying all the right things, Julian. Don't worry about it. It's got that kind of cherry edge mm. to it, I think. A wee bit of red licorice there I get as well. It's, it's nice. just got that wee edge. But it's nice. It's easy to drink. Yeah, I'm not a fan of red wine, but I would drink that. <laughs> well, exactly, <laughs> Michelle. I think I think it's there, there's nothing difficult about it. And at the price of 3 33 a bottle equivalent, people could enjoy this over four or five weeks. Yeah, it's and have very a nice good value. Time. Terrific. All we're right, last Saving the best least. for last, is it? The best well, last? I think we're saving the best for last. This is a really interesting wine. In fact, it's an interesting company. It's a company called ProvenanceWines.com, mm -hmm. an online company. And it's run by a young uh, French woman, a woman called Valerie Blanc. She was made to sell wine. She was made to, and Valerie she was born, <laughs> and born in Bordeaux. Oh, God. So she moved Lucky to her. Edinburgh. Mm -hmm. And she's started a little company that imports wines from France and sells them in bottle and in box. Okay. So this is one of Valerie's wines. It's the Chateau de Moulière, and it's actually, this, this box here contains the equivalent of seven bottles of wine. Wow. I'm really liking that one as well. That's it's a lovely, it's a very proper, subtle wine. proper chateau mm. bottled wine, aged in some oak barrels, you know, proper good quality wine. Oh, not for me, that one. 
too strong. Too strong. Too strong. Too yeah, powerful. but I'm not a. It's beautiful. I'm just not a red wine drinker. Yeah, but it's, it's, you can, if you, I think if you were a red wine drinker, you would very much enjoy. I it. think it's a really nice wine. The the box costs forty three pounds from Provenance Wines, which That's sounds great. like a lot. It sounds like a lot, but, but seven, seven, seven bottles, bottles of wine. It. it works out about six pounds a bottle, roughly. Mm. Mm -hmm. um, and I think again, you know, for a kind of quality, serious wine, perfect. The, the middle one maybe for your, for parties it's ideal. Mm -hmm. Great for kind of bonfire night kind of parties or you know a, a New Year if you're having fireworks out in the garden. It's perfect. But you know a really nice range of wines in this in this format, the, mm -hmm. the boxed format. And let's not forget about top tips. I was at a party in London a, a year ago and they were shocked because. The girls pressed the button on the box and were like, oh, no more wine left. And I was like, oh, I don't think so, love. Opened up the box and gave the bag a good milking <laughs> and we got another four glasses out of it. But apparently that's not the right thing to do at a party, Tom. <laughs> Are you Mich grimacing? Michelle, my professional <laughs> conduct is you just... You should come to a party I with me. I think I better come to a party with all you. All your empty bags, all your <laughs> empty bags, just send them to me. I'll get another it's good... A, it's it's yeah. a deal. Tom, it's thank Michelle you so the much. At the parties uh, from from the the milk at the parties with the wine, that's me. <laughs> Tom, as always, it's just wonderful to see you, and you are making box wine very trendy again. You've given us some great choices there. Fantastic. Back with us next week. Back with you next week, what and we're we doing got? Beaujolais next week. Ooh. The next Thursday is the Beaujolais Nouveau Day, where the Beaujolais is released, so we're going to look at some Beaujolais wines. Lovely, Tom, it's lovely to see you. And thank you, you very much.